All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, as always, before I get started, giving all praise to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Hakudash. All right, double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone that have taught us his truth and that rule well. <clears throat> and peace and blessings go out to the hopeful members of the elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that are in the hopes of receiving salvation during the time of Jacob's trouble that believe in the true doctrine that the Heavenly Father is pushing, all right, via his servants of prophets that have been endowed the Rechakudash, all right, the Holy Spirit that has given them the understanding of all things, okay? <clears throat> now, this will be a fairly quick video just um, speaking about a couple current events that are happening and marrying them with the scriptures and bringing forth edification and knowing the terrors of the Lord, persuading our people to continue to get right with the Heavenly Father, okay? Now, the first thing that I want to speak about is the, the price of gas, okay? As brothers should see, uh, during these past couple weeks, the price of gas has been going down, okay? Which, if you have two or three more brain cells in your head, all right, you should see that as something uh, funny, okay? Because in America's condition, as they have their hand within the war of Ukraine, all right? aiding Ukraine with military equipment and things of that nature so that they can defend themselves against the Russians. Also aiding uh, the nation of Israel, all right, which aren't the true Israelites with the war with uh, the Arab nations, all right. America should be in a state of inflation, okay? Even understanding uh, what's happening with these other, um, you know, the many... Arab nations within the Middle East, a lot of them are pissed off at America right now because they're not only furthering the affliction within their, um, you know, country, okay, but they're also um, trying to establish their um, NWO over there, okay, and that's caused nothing but turmoil to cr be created within that region, okay. And um, I forget which country um, of the Arabs it was, but one of them had declared war with uh, the U.S., okay? So we've been at war with America for, I'm sorry, Salak. We've been at war, uh, excuse me, with these Arabs for a couple couple months now, okay? Hamas, I think it was Hamas, if I'm mistaken, declares war on America. So lucky. I forget uh, exactly which one of the countries of, all right, um, the Arab nations it was, but <clears throat> the point being is that America right now is in a position where they have to tighten up that cinch bag when it comes to the price of goods, okay? And it's always been like that when it comes to certain, um, you know, disputes of war, all right? Even, uh, real quick, where is this? Right, right here. Just a quick, um, you know, Google search in time of war, do prices go up or down? Okay. And it says gold has served as a useful inflation hedge for several thousand years. Okay. And wars often lead to a rise in the money supply. Okay. And guess what? Via uh, the 1900s. Okay. The gold standard was taken out. And now what is the US dollar uh, backed up on? Like it tells you right here, uh, just a quick, uh, like I said, Google search. All right. It says from 1933 to 1971, the U.S. remained on a quasi gold standard until President Nixon officially converted the U.S. dollar into a fiat currency. So what's the U.S. dollar founded upon? Nothing. <laughs> OK. Real quick, let's just look up what is the U.S dollar backed by since 1971 the u.s dollar has been a fiat currency all right <laughs> that is backed by the faith and credit of the u.s government okay and what is that pursuing to um matter of fact let's get that real quick all right in the book of habakkuk 2 and let me just look it up like this 
2 and 6, it says, Shall not all these take up a parable against him, and a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his? All right, talking about the Edomites, okay? The so-called white people that have founded America, okay? And the different other provinces that they're found in. Case in point, Europe, all right, Israel, so on and so forth. Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his, how long, and to him that laid it himself with thick clay, okay? And when you go into the definition for thick clay, it takes you to a Hebrew word, um, Aibatya, okay? Strong's age, 5671. It says, weight of pledges, heavy debts, okay? And what is that talking about? The U.S. dollar that is backed upon the faith <laughs> and credit of the U.S. government, which is nothing, okay? So bringing the, the point home, prices of everything should be skyrocketing right now, man. All right. And when we see, all right, uh, things like this, it should tell you and make the gears in your head start moving that something ain't right. All right. And that America is playing a psyop upon society to keep them in that spirit of mirth. Okay. Of thinking that peace and peace when there is no peace. As a matter of fact, let me get that scripture next, man. Because um, I had taken that picture yesterday when I went to get gas uh, next to the plantation. And I had asked the um, the manager of that gas station, because I'm pretty um, well connected with that man. And I had asked him, so what's the deal with these uh, prices right now? And he pretty much said that he doesn't really um, have a say as to how it changes. He just does what his uh, higher up manager tells him to do, and he does it. And he's a man that doesn't really pay attention to the news, but I had told him, um, you know, I put up some thoughts in his head. Like, don't you think it's kind of funny that the prices are going down when we're in the state of being set at variance with these other nations? And he just said, yeah, it's kind of funny. But, uh, you know, he was in that spirit of peace, you know, because he thought it was going to help society better themselves. For the holidays, you know, but that's doing nothing but furthering that spirit of being in that um, a state of thinking nothing's going to happen. OK. But call hello, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the eye self to see within the society full of nothing but darkness, man. OK, we have the light, which are the scriptures that are guiding us as to how to maneuver in the society that is full of nothing but wiles everywhere. Okay? If I'm not mistaken, it should be in uh, the book of Jeremiah. Peace, peace, when there is... Right, this is Jeremiah chapter 6 and 14. It says, They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly. Okay? And how are they doing that? By lowering the cost of food. And gas, okay? Which ultimately, if you go back a couple years, food and provisions were a lot uh, cheaper, okay? Than it is now. But once again, through these strong delusions that Esau is setting forth, people don't see it, okay? And it's keeping them in that estate of thinking nothing but peace and peace when there is no peace, okay? And that's the mindset that you see society in right now, okay? Real quick, let's pull up 2nd Ezra 16 and 21. It says, Behold, victuals shall be so good sheep upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. You know, everybody's glad that they can fill up their whole, you know, uh, car tank with, you know, $50 and down, you know, putting them in that spirit of mirth. But in that same time, what's happening? A <clears throat> Excuse me, a sword is being sharpened and furbished. It says, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sorrow, famine, and great confusion. And that's exactly what you see happening when you tune in with these different news broadcasts, okay? Every kind of news outlet that you tune into, guaranteed, believe you me, they're speaking about wars and rumors of wars, okay? And when you touch 
into the, you know, alternative news outlets where they're giving you the whole rundown of what's happening throughout the four winds of the earth. It's nothing but destruction. Okay? And that's exactly what's coming down the pipe, man. So as we consider these ideas and points, as we measure the time diligently in itself and we wear marrying it with the scriptures. What kind of spirit should we be in? Damn, I forget. Shall we then... Let me just look it up like this, man. This is Ezekiel chapter um, 21 and 10. Right. This is Ezekiel... Matter of fact, let me start at 8. Ezekiel 21 and 8. Again, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man... Prophesy and say, Thus saith Yahweh, say a sword. A sword is sharpened and also furbished. All right? And the sword is Esau. Okay? The wicked, according to the scriptures, that is slowly but surely sharpening his blessing, which was, which is the sword. Okay? Not only has he been given the sword, but uh, if you can receive it, Yahweh Shai, all right, in the stead of Isaac, blessed him with the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven. All right? And he's using every ounce of his blessing to ultimately fulfill his NWO, which is to destroy the nation of Israel. Okay? This whole war and all these evils that we see coming down the pipe is aimed at nobody else but our nation, man. Okay? Verse 10, it says, It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter, okay? And this is the time that we're living in, okay? Where we see nothing but knowledge being increased and Esau using it on the left-hand side to make technology to the point where he doesn't have to move one inch, okay? He's made AI, demonic demons, all right, that are able to use technology to do his bidding, Okay? So as we consider the arsenal of weaponry that Esau has, going back to the 10th verse, should we then make mirth? Should we be in a spirit of being joyful? Being like everybody else of, you know, getting together with family? No, man, we should be in the spirit of locking in spiritually, okay? And doing what we got to do to worship our power so that in the time of distress, and in the day of necessity, he's going to intercede for us, man. Okay? Because nothing but destruction is coming down the pipe for America. All right? And not only are the prophets saying this, but the whole world is crying this out, man. All right? Real quick. This is a wake up. A tech talk that I stumbled upon a little earlier ago. This is a wake up call. All of America, all of Europe. You are next. How many on the terror watch list, God damn. You are next, all right? Call hello, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. All right? We don't know the answer to that question. That is very dangerous uh, as a national security expert, which is what the FBI Director Ray talked about coming from Hamas. The ongoing war in the Middle East has raised the threat of an attack against Americans in the United States here on our own soil. Some pretty incredible developing news in the past 24 hours. Breaking news coming out that things are intensifying with the U.S. and Iran, with the war going on between Israel and Hamas in the Middle East. The U.S., they're saying, will be next for attacks. And we've already heard this warn from the FBI and now from hostage family members. Right, and who is Iran in cahoots with? Russia, okay? A lot of those Arab nations are starting to, you know, think for themselves and consider... To join BRICS, okay? Which is ultimately, um, you know, an, an organization likened to uh, the Northern Atlantic Treaty, or, uh, Treaty Organization, Salakia, the Northern Atlantic Treaty Organization, okay? But over there in the Middle East, which is under the um, acronym of BRICS, okay? This is what's coming down the pipe. And guess what? It's all tied to no other ancient text but the Holy Bible that you find in your shelf caught with nothing but dust, uh, dust bun, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, dust bunnies on it, man. Okay. 
members saying the U.S., you are next on the list. Take a look at the articles coming out in the past 24 hours. U.S. forces under fire in the Middle East as America slides towards the brink. This just coming out three hours ago. Now, the U.S. yesterday evening carries out airstrikes in eastern... Now, well, that's the point. You can, uh, you know, this is the uh, TikTok account. If brothers want to, you know, see that for themselves and maybe do a lesson on that because all the statements that he's making are biblical, Okay. We can easily go into the scriptures and break all that down. All right. But as we see this happening, our mindset should be geared upon not making mirth. All right. But upon sighing and crying unto the heavenly father to come and deliver us by having a pattern of good works to show that we have faith in him, man. Okay. This is Romans chapter 13 and 11. It says, and that knowing the time then now it is high time to awake out of sleep, okay? Meaning get out of that spirit of being set on your leads, all right? Being slothful, luggish, being in that spirit of being burned out, okay? Because we're on the brink of the effect of all of the visions taking place, okay? It is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believed, all right? Because before salvation, what's happening? Judgment, okay? And most importantly, the hour of temptation where our faith is going to be tested to the highest degree, okay? This is the time that we're living in. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, okay? And let us put on the armor of light which consists of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, all right, and having faith and fear of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. And matter of fact, yeah, that's it. I don't want to make this too long of a video. I just wanted to make, uh, you know, a quick little epistle regarding what's coming down the pipe, okay? And understanding what mind frame that we should be in. And that is of understanding further that this is not a rest, Okay? Why? Because destruction is on its way. And thus sit Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? So with that, giving all praise once again to our power, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha HaKudash. All right? Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings go out to the elect.